So, <clears throat> Laura Whitmore has made some comments and people are not liking what she is saying. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Rob Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button. It is daily and consistent content, consistent and persistent injected. So we have Laura Whitmore who's made some comments about how the villa is smelling so bad, she says. If you think about it, the amount of people that go into that villa, it starts off about 10 and 12 and then more keep going in. And they're quite young. The bio, it absolutely stinks, she says, as well as ta um, fake tan. She compared the scent to using Lynx Af Africa deodorant. The favorite amongst teenage boys and star of so many Christmas gifts to cover up questionable odors. Lynx Africa, like when they try to cover the BO, that's what it smells like. She said it feels like in summer once the show starts and says she loves watching it on TV as a fan. Um, speaking to this person on the podcast, she also discussed how the islanders are conscious of the cameras when they first enter the villa. The next time I go in, how quick they forget, she tells them. She was also asked about how the show's infamous nighttime moments where islanders are shown asleep or not in their beds. Uh, and the duvet moments. So this has obviously caught people's attention and they find it to be quite, you know, undertones of microaggressions of racism. I don't know if she was, I don't know if, I disagree with that actually, because a lot of people do just use Lynx Africa in general. People are saying that they, it's unnecessary. Why is she making comments about Lynx Africa? You know, saying that the place smells. I think people are just making associations and just running with it. Um, I don't think she had that intention. And this is somebody like for me who isn't a fan of Whitmore on the show. You know, I just don't think that she's, she's a good presenter for Love island uh, but, but the, these comments have kind of you know gone a little bit viral in the love island stratosphere a lot of people are speaking about it and it has rubbed them the long the wrong way especially on forum sites like twitter where people are just bothered by you know her unnecessary associations and you know her connotations and how it just comes across quite questionable let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this quick fire video subscribe to the channel click that button it is daily and consistent content and i'll catch you guys soon for another video